guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe button right now. Well, it's a brand new day, and uh, the weather out here in Amsterdam is fantastic. I have to say, fantastic weather today. But let's hope it continues. But you know, Netherlands weather always changes. You know. Let's get straight to right here without hesitation. Steel on steel. Steel on the matter. Steel on the matter. You know how they be now. Now, I usually don't respond to other um, content creators or other boxing analysts. You know, we have a lot of them. I don't respond to them unless I used to do back in the days when the Joshua Water Saga was hot back then remember when team water or like the water fanatics attacked joshua in every of the video basically we all had to defend um joshua then because um he didn't have a lot of fans he had a lot of uh, um a lot of pretenders then um who claimed to be his fans but as soon as everything turned upside down you you began to see them even some of them suggested Joshua to, re to retire. Now, there is this narrative that uh, Atman Strikes Back is trying to basically paint right now. Atman Strikes Back, uh, I love you guys. I don't know if you guys are familiar. You know, I love my audience are uh, Nigerian, so probably not. You know, but Nigerians usually don't really, they don't really look outside like that. You know, in terms of when they see you, that you are not painting a good picture or a good image of something they just ignore but art my strike back is very popular in the uk um yeah very interesting uh, person i've never seen his face or anything like that never shown his face but he is very knowledgeable in boxing now i think he's trying to paint a narrative right here i listened to this uh video yesterday and saying that will the title will anthony joshua dock daniel dubois basically with a a question and then he in the video he said a lot of things including jang being the harder fight for for anthony joshua saying that uh, they don't uh, nobody wants to see the rematch between uh, joshua and parker and saying that the you know matter boxing uh don't tend to be keen on joshua fighting dubois next. bro first of all dubois is a quitter joshua is not scared of anyone joshua will never dog anyone but also the reason joshua should not fight Dana dubois if there is no ibf title on the line the time the era in which the british public decided on who joshua fights is over because when he lost to Andrews Jr., we all saw you guys um faces, including you Atma Strikes Back. You robbed his Joshua. I think he also said Joshua is done as well at some point. He also said that um uh that um yeah that Joshua will probably duck Otto Wallin or something like that. Joshua wouldn't fight Otto Wallin. He said some some crappy shit in the past, but I just kind of ignore it. But saying Joshua he is going to talk Dubois saying Joshua should fight Dubois if there is no IBF title on the line is is a little bit stupid in my opinion why should Joshua fight Dubois with everything to lose if if the unthinkable happens and with nothing to gain so I, I don't get it Joshua is the man here, not Dubois. Dubois is not a draw. Dubois is yet to even think of selling out a stadium in the UK, talk less of a Wembley stadium. Joshua is the main man. He's the one that decides who he fights next. Joshua is the Canelo of heavyweight boxing. Usyk is undisputed, but Usyk is not a draw. We all know that, right? Let's keep that real right here. And if you ask me, I would suggest Joshua fight Dubois, but only if the IBF is on the line. 
If the IBF is on the line, fight Jang. Jang is a harder fight than Dubois, by the way. And if Joshua beats Jang, he gets more credit beating Jang than beating uh, Dubois. But Dubois is known as a quitter. Jang has never quit once in his in his, in his life. He's never he's been knocked down before and knocked down by only until Joshua. In the amateurs, in the uh, during the 2012 Olympic, we all know that. Is Atmas Reichberg is a very good analyst, but sometimes he talks a lot of crap. You know, he tends to basically wants to force a narrative so that people can agree with him. You know, people can think, oh, that it, 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 it creates a narrative basically to make people think the unthinkable. Basically, there is no way in hell. That Joshua is docking a guy like Dubois, whom, whom um, Egovich landed 56 fucking right hands uh, in the first three rounds, bro. Joshua's right hands will land. And it wouldn't take 56 for Dubois to go to sleep. Unless Dubois work on his uh, defense, which I don't see happening. Dubois will try fight Joshua. If he tries to fight Joshua the way for Ego Egovich, thinking, okay, let this guy land on me first. Let me take all his punches and then come back with mine. That's a big mistake. Is if Joshua would do him very easy. Joshua should fight Jang if the IBF is on the line. Frank Warren has two fighters right now that both want a pride. The boy want to be a world champion. Yeah, has never been a world champion. He's yet to be one. Tyson Fury has been a world champion. Okay. He wants to be undisputed. Don't tell me Fury doesn't care about undisputed. He cares. Fury cares. We know Fury. Fury is a pretender. Fury can say something today and changes and changes tone tomorrow. This is how that guy is. It's just fact. Guy is not reliable. We know. Fury wants the undisputed. Frank Warren is more favorable to Fury than he is to the boy because Fury is a scratch cow. So if Frank Warren wants Joshua to fight the boy, put his money where his mouth is. Get the IBF to strip the, uh, to, to to strip uh, um, Usyk of the IBF and put it on the line. Finito. So all this narrative you guys are trying to create, this is why Joshua don't get, do, do, no longer gives the British media interview. Before he used to give them interviews a lot. He doesn't anymore. Because all you guys do is create narrative that doesn't make sense. Facts. Joshua doesn't hold the UK public anything. We saw when he was down, we saw what happened. How a lot of people turned us back on him. People laughed. Joshua is a wise man. He knows who will support us her and who ain't. In this case, I would say Joshua should not fight the boy if the IBF is on the line. Frank Warren can get him made. When the IBF is on the line, you will see Joshua do a demolition job on the boy. It would not be a competition. So when Joshua beats the boy, and claim uh, become a three-time world champion then you guys can at least let the Dubois hype die down because the boy hype is crazy this guy quit twice and you are saying a person that quit twice is who you're trying scared of bro come on man let's keep it right you just try and scared of anybody they will fight anyone anytime anywhere any day fact he wants to be undisputed in boxing you build legacy and you are making money joshua can make money with anybody but at this rate in his career he wants to make he wants to create a lasting legacy three time ever world champion and then undisputed is something that only few boxers have achieved you know throughout the years only few boxers have achieved 
to become a three-time member world champion, we put Joshua in the history book, same as Muhammad Ali. The common disputed under history book. Usyk is moving back down to cruiserweight. That's what he said. So the ever division is wide open. But I still want to see Joshua fight Usyk for the third time though. The new Joshua, I believe, beats Usyk. But Usyk is a tricky guy. He might just be the kryptonite to all the zero boxers. But Usyk cannot continue to be in the ever division and fight every contender because he's not big enough. Styles may fight. I believe Jan Jilei beats Usyk in the first six rounds. But Usyk might box his head off after six rounds. So John Jale is very dangerous in the first five, six rounds. After that, he gasses out. That's just it. John Jale is the more dangerous fight. And you said it yourself. Well then Joshua wants a dangerous fight. Not a guy, not a guy who's quit who quit fight. Unless the IBF's on the line. That's it, guys. Cheers. Bye, David.